just as when we're solving with substitution or when we're graphing, we could end up with parallel lines or the same lines, we have to be aware of those special cases that can come up with addition or elimination as well. So just as we saw before, if the variable subtract out to zero, it means there is either no solution, parallel lines, who don't overlap, or infinite solutions. which would be when we have the same line right on top of itself. So let's see if what we, what happens with elimination as we try and find this. In this first example, 2x minus 4y equals 16 and 3x minus 6y equals 20, let's pick on the x's as we try and get opposites in front of the x. 2 and 3 can both multiply to 6, so let's multiply the first equation by 3 giving us 6x minus 12y equals 48. And we'll multiply the second equation by negative 2, that'll give us the negative 6 on both sides. This gives us negative 6x plus 12y equals negative 40. We now got those opposites in front of x like we want, but what's also interesting is we also have opposites in front of y as a unexpected result. So when we add them together, they both subtract out completely to 0, and we're left with 0 equals 48 minus 40, 8. Well, wait a minute. Does 0 equal 8? Does that make sense? No. That doesn't make sense. 0 is not the same as 8, which means the solutions to the first equation do not make sense in the second equation. Nothing makes sense here. Nothing works. We have no solution. These are parallel lines. Let's try another example and see what happens when the variables subtract out. The last time we picked on x, this time let's pick on the y's, get opposites in front of the y's. Doesn't matter which we pick on, so we might as well rotate. Both 4 and 10 can go to 20, so let's multiply the first equation by 5 on both sides, giving us negative 50x plus 20y equals negative 30. And the second equation multiplied by 2, we already have the negative we need, giving us positive 50x minus 50y equals positive 30. And as we do that, we got the opposites in front of y like we wanted, but it also gave us opposites in front of x like we weren't expecting. So when we add these together, we end up with 0 as everything subtracts out equals negative 30 plus 30 is 0. But this is still a little different than the previous example, because does 0 equal 0? Yes, it does. That makes sense, because 0 is the same as 0. If I have nothing and you have nothing, we both have the same amount. This means whatever makes sense in the first equation will also make sense in the second equation. Everything works. There are infinite solutions. So in this way, if the variables subtract out completely to 0, it means we either have no solution, if it doesn't make sense, or we have infinite solutions if it does make sense.